Right, hi guys. As of yesterday or Wednesday, we've had a bit of an ease in the lockdown. So we're now allowed to go out and do more exercising. We can exercise more than once a day. We can go out and exercise as much as we want. We can even travel to exercise. So rather than having to stay local, which I have been doing, I've had sort of walking around, walking up and down from the park and not far from me. So now we can drive somewhere. If you want to go for an exercise, we could take the car, go to a park, go to walks in woodlands, that sort of stuff. You can also go play golf, tennis, and luckily for me, basketball. So that's me out playing basketball again. Can't go to a gym or anything, but I wouldn't be doing that anyway at the moment. Now, with the basketball theme in mind, I have seen a really, really nice basketball I like the look of. Keep seeing it online. Some places it's like on Wish, it's about nine quid. Others it's 25, between 25 and 50 quid. Nearly all of them, it's about two months of bloody delivery. So, of course, the first thing happened when we had this sort of easing lockdown for the exercise inside of it. I went to play basketball, which is by some tennis courts. And by the tennis courts, there was like loads and loads of people suddenly decided to come out and play tennis. Now, Wednesday wasn't the best day for weather. It was a bit cold. I mean, even when I was playing basketball, I got chills and nearly needed to put my gloves on. Um, but I went along the seafront on the way back, actually saw people in the sea swimming. Um, then I went around to Margate. And of course, Margate, very, very windy day. Great opportunity for the first time since they've obviously been locked down for the kite surfers to get out. They, they must be mad. They all had wetsuits on and they're all prepared for it. But my God, it was freezing cold. Um, the sea must have been absolutely freezing. So not really my cup of tea, but hey, good on them. One of the things that hasn't changed and it's probably going to take a while and I'm not quite sure how they're going to get around it is haircuts. I clearly, clearly, clearly definitely need my haircut. Also, it needs colouring again. Now, that side of it I can do. I can bleach it. I haven't really bleached it when it's this long before though. So it's a case of maybe bleach it a couple of times. I've got the colour to put in it, see what it looks like. But I'd really, really love to have it cut. But I don't know when that can be another month maybe or more. Don't know how they're going to do it. So... Might have to wait on that one, but I really, really desperately need it doing. It's, I'm getting terrible. So before they ease the restrictions a little bit on the exercise and the fact you could go out more, I had planned to do a few more things indoors. One of them, obviously, as I keep saying, I'm sort of keeping the economy going, so this is a diesel one. Um, one of the Trojans sort of goes along with one of my favourite watches of all time, one of the ones I waited the longest to get was this one. Also, I haven't been really keeping up so much with my reading. Now, I really ought to read my books. I've got books I haven't read for ages. I haven't really been, I don't know, I haven't been in the right frame of mind to read them for some reason. I can't think why. I did also have magazines come through not so long ago. So I've had last month's GQ come through at the same time as Wired because they come from the same people. Unfortunately, neither of which I've read. And strange enough, before I even got the chance to read this month's, well, say last month now, another month's version's come through. So I've got another one. So I've got two GQs to read and a Wired. And that's actually not a bad, and they're, they're talking about it basketballs look don't think i'd want a yellow one though there's things i plan to do whilst indoors so things that have got sort of going to be isolation things things you could do when you're not out when i was in brighton actually last year i went to a shop whilst i was with cuddles cuddles and i had gone to the build a bear shop in the same shopping center there was a store i went into with him and i was said in that video i was going to buy something i would come back and buy it after i'd been to see the vans I got so excited about buying the vans, I forgot to go back and buy it. I thought, well, whilst I'm off, time to do stuff. I can do stuff. So, a big box came through the other day. First part of this box is a free gift. If you use your PayPal, you'd get a free mystery gift when you bought an item over a certain value. So, the free gift is a mystery Lego bag. This is a Lego rabbit with um, carrots. So, it's a bit of a giveaway as to what I was going to buy. And um, so, I have to keep your eyes on the way to time, I've bought a San Francisco architecture set. So this is a full San Francisco skyline as such. You've got Alcatraz, you've got the Golden Gate Bridge, you've got the painted ladies' houses over here. Everything's on here if you're into San Francisco. I just think it looks nice. I think they do a Trafalgar Square. Again, it's quite square and it's finding somewhere to put it. I'm not so sure about the New York and the Paris ones. I'm not keen on those. 
The Las Vegas one doesn't look too bad, but I thought out of all of them, the most interesting looking one with the most landmarks on it, and it's even got a little bit of sea with it as well. So it's definitely going to give me something to do. Again, with all of the 80 Lego stuff, it gives you a full book on history and everything. So um, so I should have bought it last year, never got around to it. Now we're in isolation. There is more of a chance to build stuff, more of a chance to sit down and have time to do stuff, which is why I bought it and then realise that we can go out more often. So I want to get out and do a bit of exercise, more exercise outside and photography at the same time. And maybe a bit of drone photography as well. But I also still will get this built and I'll show the build process on this and what it looks like when it's done. Hey.